New here at 6, St. Louis City being told to step up after another person was hit and or killed in a hit and run. That happened during rush hour in South City Tuesday. And as we know, pedestrian safety is a regional problem as another person was killed in St. Charles overnight. Our Melanie Johnson is live along Kings Highway, one of the most dangerous thoroughfares in the entire region. Melanie? Yes, Sammy and Corey, to address one of those dangerous hazard zones, the Urban League will launch a campaign in 24 hours called Slow Down St. Louis to address these speeding hazard zones like near Kings Highway. But transportation experts I to talked to tonight tell me more needs to be done. No, it doesn't surprise me at all. It, it infuriates me, but it doesn't surprise me. Charles Bryson says Chippewa is considered one of the most dangerous streets in St. Louis City. Tuesday, a 63-year-old man was killed while crossing Chippewa near Kings Highway. The city has not taken any steps to reduce pedestrian uh, crashes and fatalities and to increase their safety, and that's a problem. Bryson works for TrailNet, an agency advocating for safer streets, for walking, biking, and commuting in the metro. It's possible that you're going to be hit before you are make it all the way across the street. I've noticed a couple times um, they don't like the walk sign never pops up. Sky Pia check drove by Chippewa as police tried tracking down whoever was behind the wheel of a 2018 Nissan Altima. The driver took off after the fatal wreck. The drivers, I feel like, are the more of the cause. Like they, they think they can make this yellow light. A 2023 trail net traffic report shows eight people were killed while walking in St. Louis City. Wednesday, St. Louis police tell First Alert 4 we exceeded that number already this year with nine pedestrians killed since January. Well, the city has $40 million in, in ARPA money that has not really been expended, and some of that money could be used to change the signaling. That would help tremendously. In St. Charles County, another pedestrian killed Wednesday after a car hit 64-year-old Dennis Butts on Santa Catalina. County Executive Steve Elman released this statement to First Alert 4 in response to our story. In part, quote, the way to slow down people is to give them tickets and make them go to court. And if they don't show up, arrest them and put them in jail. There's a lot of ways to fix it, but number one, it starts with a climate that says we must put pedestrians first. The Mayor Tashara Jones also has signed the Safer Streets Bill that will use ARPA funding to increase traffic calming measures and to pave roads as well. She also kicked off the month by bringing back red light cameras. She signed that legislation last week. Reporting in South City, Melanie Johnson, First Lord 4.